Great news. What? The Dacia Sandero is almost here. When? Next year. Great. How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. I've just finished watching the Update 18 live stream from all of the Playground Game fellas that host it. And in this quick video, I've got everything you need to know about Update 18, which we'll be releasing in the next couple of days, along with the new festival playlist, which starts this Thursday for the next four weeks. We've got four brand new cars coming this month, two of which are absolutely awesome. We've also got some eliminator changes and maybe some other features as well, but everything you need to know about Update 18 is going to be in this video. First thing, the new festival plays, which starts on Thursday. I'm going to show you all of the new cars. There's one car per week, and I'm going to show you all of the rewards that are in each festival playlist as usual. So we're going to jump straight into it and have a look at this month's festival playlist, starting with the new cars and the bits and bobs like that. Mm. So for the full series, the full this month's festival playlist, for 50% completion, you can unlock the Maserati MC12 Forza Edition. And then at 80% completion, the hardest thing to do, the Rimac Concept 2 which is quite a good addition, if I'm honest. So that's the series rewards, but now onto the weekly rewards, starting with Summer, which starts this Thursday with one of the new cars in. For 50% completion of Summer, you can unlock the Hot Wheels Mustang. At 80% completion, you can unlock the Ferrari 166 M. And then in an exclusive event, exclusive championship, you could say, one of the new cars, the Hummer H1 Open Top. Pretty cool addition. Then, the week after that, which is Autumn, for 50% completion of Autumn, finally, the Lamborghini Huracan. Lamborghini Huracan Performante. We've been waiting for this car for such a long time. I predicted it was going to come a couple of weeks ago, and I was right. We are getting the Huracan Performante next week, starting next Thursday in Autumn, 50% completion. Awesome. And then at 80% completion, we can't mock it, the Ken 1 race suit. Ken 1, Ken Block race suit. Then the week after that, in winter, for 50% completion, the Porsche Emery 356C. I had to read that out then. That's the third new car coming this week, this month. And then at 80% completion, the Pontiac GTO. And then the last week, which is the end of this month, um, three, four weeks from now, whatever, in spring, 50% completion, you can get the Cadillac Escalade. At 80% completion, you can get the High Viz Patrol outfit, some kind of police thing, looks like the Dutch ones. This may have been what all the Torben Tuesday hints were hinting at, but. And then two other cool things about spring. Number one, we're getting a new showcase remix in Aisha's Taxi versus a Jet, by the looks of it. And the fourth new car, one of the best, doesn't quite beat the Performante. The Toyota A86 is returning to the game, finally. So that's the second Toyota to return. It's coming in week spring, which is about three or four weeks from now. But that is the new festival players summed up. That's all of the new cars and the exciting cars anyway. So overall, not a bad month for cars. We've got the Pavante we've been waiting for. We've got the AD86, which is the probably the second most requested Toyota. So it's pretty good that they've given us that second. Don't know what we're going to get third. But yeah, now let's get on to the new Eliminator cars and possibly some other features in this new update as well. Let's go. Now I've had a few sort of changes to the Eliminator. They've actually added about nine new cars to the Eliminator level. So per each tier of car, so level two, level three, level four, whatever, in the Eliminator, they've added a car in that category. I'm going to read out each of the cars now. The Tractor has been added as a level two car. The Unimog has been added as a level three car. The Mini X-Raid is a level 4 car. The new Hummer Open Top has been added as a level 5 car. The Regalia Type D is a level 6 car. The Warthog is a level 7 car. The Diberti Wrangler is a level 8 car. The Funko is a level 9 car. And Aisha's Taxi is a level 10 car. The one that's in the Showcase Remix that's really pimped up and very fast. It's not replacing any cars, they are just simply adding these cars to the list of cars in the Eliminator. They've each got their own tier, one per tier they've added, apart from the Mini, which is the only one that's a level one car. Presumably these cars will be added in the update within the next couple of days, whenever the update's out. So if you're a fan of the Eliminator, you can expect to drive some more cars. All nine of these cars seem to be pretty pimped up. Um, big 
four by four type cars instead of like little sports cars so that's going to be quite interesting to see more of those type of cars in the game now with that out of the way we've got a slight bug fix information all the things that have been fixed and all of the things that have been added to the game when it's just it's mostly just fixes but these are the rest of the things that have been added in update 18 that we've not already mentioned so in update 18 they have fixed the action bar not showing over cars in free roam they have improved the loading time of the eliminator they fixed an issue where traffic cars weren't showing up in co-op street races i believe they fixed the issue where it won't let you challenge anyone in the eliminator they fixed an issue where they basically improved the loading times when you're upgrading your car within the eliminator They've increased the audio sound of the Eliminator wall closing in. So if you're inside the Eliminator's radius, you can hear the wall coming from a direction a bit more easier instead of having to look on the map. They've also fixed an issue where if you're using a custom controller, um, it previously wouldn't allow you to upgrade your car. The button simply didn't work, but that's been fixed now. And also a small issue of where if you're loading the game for the first time on PC with DLCs installed, it used to take forever they've now fixed that speed issue. But when it comes to update 18, apart from those few little bug fixes, that's basically everything. I suppose most people are mainly looking forward to the four new cars, maybe the showcase remix, and the Eliminator editions as well. So it's not really a weak update because we've got two pretty cool cars that we've been waiting for, but unfortunately there's no big features. But still, all in all, a good update to look forward to, especially because of the Performante in the A86. That's awesome. But yeah, Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone. That is everything for update 18. It's coming out in the next couple of days and the cars are starting on Thursday. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon content and see you everybody later.